The main purpose of high school is to prepare us for the future. So wouldn't it make sense for us to model our high school careers after the real world? That's what our student government thought. But some aspects of the real world just shouldn't be given to high school students. It's true what they say about absolute power. It absolutely corrupts. Just look at our rivals. They had taken over every high school in the county, one by one, until Lacey was the only one left standing. here because you have surrendered and surrendering means you will follow our laws we do not want another toms river north do we you are no longer a part of lacey township high school you are part of lacey regional on my mark you will remove your flags now we had no power anymore what is this uh, I don't know. explain yourself what the fuck? At first, there were some who resisted. What are you doing? Why is that still on your arm? I refuse to conform to Central. Who said that? What is your major malfunction? To liberty with this one. But they quickly put a stop to that. He's clean. Lacey stood as long as it could but it didn't stay standing for long. The future is bright at Lacey. In recent months, we've been seeing outstanding improvements in student life. The lunch lines are brimming with happy students once again, thanks to our new student council, our students are enjoying the freshest lunches around, making us the envy of other schools. Our Chromebooks are updated with the newest software, and school spirit is through the roof. We're getting you back on your feet, making your school stronger, and cleaner, and better. Wait, where are you going? Everyone has a job. The bathroom. So when you're asked what makes your school yeah, so minutes. special, remember Thanks. to say two words. Central Regional. Hey, you, stop. Look, it's okay, I have my pass. What do you think you're doing here? It's out past curfew. I, you're not supposed to be in the hallway. I said I have my freaking pass. I got this. <laughs> you forgot is all. It's for your troubles. Freaking lazy kids. Sometimes the smell will take 
pledge allegiance to the flag of the Central Regional Republic and to the Republic for which it stands. One high school, under rule, with integrity and justice for none. Okay guys, take a seat please, cell phones away. All right, I know exactly what um, the lesson plan said and what you guys were expecting to do today. It was to do with, um, you know, famous French resistance fighters, but we're actually going to be um, learning about some of Central's founding fathers, really. Um, for example, our esteemed president, Colin Grace. Um, Mr. Grace came from very humble beginnings and he um, had this grand plan. Spare me the theatrics, Mr. Latrucci. I need to know if our forces have broken through or not. Have they? The front line at Tom's River North has been steady for the past two weeks, sir, but we haven't been able to break through yet. The school spirit has been preventing us from- Excuses don't interest me, Nick. Only results do. Expel them all and bomb the building to the ground. We have B-52 bombers, for Christ's sake. Use them. Miss Jones, how is the occupation of Jackson Liberty go? We've turned the school into a factory, Chancellor. We have put the remaining students to work sewing Central Varsity jackets and mass producing Central Eagle statues. We have them working 32 hour days, but we've seen an increase in the Jackson Liberty kids wearing their own Varsity jackets. Add them to the blacklist. I never want to see a Jackson Liberty Varsity jacket again. Mr. Kerrigan, your occupation of our newest colony is two months in. How is life at Lacey Regional? I'm not gonna lie to you, Chancellor. It's uh, it's been a difficult transition. How so? After we forced our principal into surrendering the high school, the increase in resistance began to be very noticeable. Uh, we haven't seen any Lacey Varsity jackets, but some of the students have begun to organize a resistance group. What? They call themselves the Lacicans. <clears throat> I don't ever want to hear you say that name again. As soon as you give something a name, you recognize it. And when you recognize it, you give it power. These are vigilantes we're talking about. Nothing more. Chancellor Grace, if I could interrupt, I don't think we should underestimate these guys. They Who the hell is this? They're the only organized resistance group in the Republic, and they're growing. They're inspiring other students as well. If we don't stop them, we'll have a full rebellion on our hands. Are you originally from Lacey, Miss D'Souza? Then you have no right to use the word us when you speak here. You are not one of us. Let me make that perfectly clear. And the next time you speak out of line, you'll be thrown back into the mix with the rest of the lacy scum. Do I make myself clear? Apologies, Chancellor. If what Mrs. D'Souza says is true, ladies and gentlemen, we have a very serious situation, my friends. You're not my friends, you're below me. If we allow the seed of resistance to take hold, it will grow like a weed and control every student that we have fought to keep under our rule. This is no mere ordinary conquest. It's a test of our endurance, our resolve to regain what we lost all those years ago in 1981. My fellow regionalists, failure to occupy Lacey will plunge us back into chaos and I will not let that happen. Mr. Kerrigan, I want you to find these delinquents and show them what the consequences are if they resist us. Central prevails. Hurry up, Butler can't hold that door forever. Leave him. We don't need him anyway. Go ahead. You almost got us in a lot of trouble. You got chased by the whole community of Central Regional. For what? What do you have? Well, chick stick it besides you. We have one more person there. Will Rapsis. Caucasian male. You had to specify Caucasian male? Well, I wasn't sure if he thought he was the cat. He's, he's kind of, you know. So yeah, that's about it. Now we get him, we get out, get back to the resistance. Jack and Crazy, and then we take the school back. Mainly because of me. Let's get out of here before Central tries to kill me again. Thank you. Um, so today we're going to be covering subjects like not only how um, President Grace got to uh, put his grand plan into action, but we're all going to we're also going to be discussing some of the historical things that took place. For example, the demolition of Tom's River East. Sad, isn't it? What's it come to? 
How are we supposed to prepare for college if this is all we're learning? Elia, shut up. You're gonna get us both in trouble. Easy with the attitude. Why don't you try to make a change like I am? What do you mean? I joined the resistance. You what? Shh! Is there something you'd like to say to me, Mr. Rapsis? Um, no, Mrs. DePala. I, okay, I, I'm sorry if I'm boring you. Anyway. Now let's get back to making notes. Do you want this to be the future? I know you, and I know you're not like this. Look, I want this as much as you do, and I want something done. But it's not gonna happen. The Free Lacey Resistance doesn't even exist. They exist. I know they do. Aaliyah, they're just rumors. If you believe that, then they're doing their job. They're scattered all throughout Lacey Regional. Look, I'm not gonna take a chance on fantasy. So what are you gonna do? Just give up? Look, I don't have a choice. Why are you risking everything so close to graduation? Because I know that evil only triumphs when good men do nothing. It may be cliche, but it's true. And you're a good man, Will. So what are you going to do? Okay, guys, we're finishing up. Let's pack up, get everything ready for your next class. The bell is about to go. Ted Hunt! Sit down. Yeah. Sit down. Sit down. Captain Kerrigan, what a surprise. I was just about to dismiss the class. No, no, they're dismissed when I say they're dismissed. Yes, sir. All right. I assume you got the email this morning? Uh, yes, of course I received the email um, this morning from Central Administration. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We hope to visually show the students that the student government has their best interests in mind. You realize the reason for this email is because the CRR has been experiencing the most uh, resistance from Lacey. I don't know anything about that, Captain, but I can assure you that the students in this class are very receptive to the new curriculum. We have no Lacey sympathizers in here. Good. We will see. How many uh, state wrestling championships has Central won? Um, well, it was uh... Stand up when I talk to you. They produced six championships, sir. All right, good, sit down. What school did we close down due to insubordination? Tom's River East. Well, after you expelled everyone and then carpet bombed the whole school. I don't need a damn history lesson, kids. Sit down, I was there. Mr. Rapsis. Mr. Rapsis. How long did it take Lacey to fall under Central Regional Republic's control? Three days, sir. And that's compared to how long for the other schools? One week, sir. Stand when I address you. Well, sir, I'm not a package, so I don't need addressing. Stand when I address you. He doesn't have to if he doesn't want to, and you can't make him. I don't think I called on you, Mr. Kanika. That's because you didn't. You think you can push us around that you have some kind of authority here, but you don't. <laughs> Central Regional will break and crumble to the ground. You may be able to take our school, but you'll never take our school spirit. It's a shame. <laughs> you were so close to graduation. What? No, you can't do this to me. You can't do this. The only way you're gonna get me out of here is if you drag me out of this desk, and you won't dare do you're that. You're right, I can't take you out of this desk. But what I can do is take you to the office. Let's go. What? What are you doing? Stop! No! I can't Put be expelled! Her down. Leave her alone. She didn't do anything wrong. Don't you have a book burning to attend to? Yeah, but I got two hours to kill. Why can't everyone see? Like, don't believe in the lies. We have to move on. We have to move on and become lacy again. We've defeated All right, them before. Alright, that's enough, that's enough enlightenment, Mr. Raps ass. Let's refer to the article. Let's refer to the Articles of Occupation. Article 1. Officers of Central Regional have total and complete authority over the subjects of Lacey Regional. Take him away. No. Fight back! Remember 1981! You need to fight back! Now, think about that. Next time you decide to stand up in the middle of class, shout something that has some sort of lacy pride in it. Is it really worth it? Not going to any college? Well, it's not. And that's why Central prevails. Central prevails! You're gone! You're expelled! Everyone else is dismissed!
Why is it always the resistance types that make it hard on themselves? Captain! M uh, uh, Mr. President, sir. Do we have a situation? No, no, sir. We have it all under control. How elementary. Take him away. Yes, sir. Shorter in person. Bring him to the booking. Sir. I like my job. State your full name and grade. William J. Rapsis, Senior. Do you know why you're here? No. It would be in your best interest to tell us the truth, Miss Rapsis. We have you hooked up to a polygraph machine. Isn't that a little unnecessary? When you come to this school, you forfeit certain rights, Mr. Rapsis. When you break the laws of occupation, you forfeit even more. What do you want with me? You have been deemed an enemy of the state, Mr. Rapsis. You are scheduled to be expelled in the next three days. Unless you are willing to cooperate. Mr. Rapsis, please tell me what you know of this girl. I've seen her around. She's in a couple of my classes. But I haven't talked to her since the homecoming was cancelled by the student government. She is guilty for... What the hell is it? Yo, man, what is she guilty for again? Conspiring with the resistance. Come on, bro. Oh, damn. She's guilty for conspiring with the resistance. Our security forces have spotted her recruiting kids for a vigilante group called the Lacykins. Why are you telling me this? Don't make this any longer than it has to be, Mr. Rapsis. We have a lot more delinquents to interrogate today. I'm not a delinquent. Tell us where the resistance is. I don't know. Listen here, buddy boy. Do you want to be expelled? Or how about we transfer you to Jackson Liberty? Tell us the truth, or we'll have you sewing central varsity jackets in a factory by the time we're done with you. Is everything okay in here? Yeah. Hey, hey, Why? bro, just come on. Cool down. Hey, stand up, man, all right? Remember I told you, all right? State your name. William Rapsis. Okay, sit over there. Am I being expelled? Again, sit over there. I'll call you when we're ready. Wait here. Here. Why are all these kids clogging up my guidance office? I'm sorry, we've been backed up. Oh, cry me a river, Joe. Is this too difficult for you? Let's speed things up. What's this one for? Uh, he was wearing this. Huh? I haven't seen one of these in months. You, take him to the front. Yes, ma'am. Wait, where are you taking me? Quiet, you slime. I have rights. He's entitled to a fair trial. Would you like to join him, Mr. Bellow? No. Didn't think so. Take him to be expelled and burn this when you're finished. Yes, ma'am. Fix this. You three, come with me. You, stay here. Poor kids. Never getting into college with an expulsion on the record. Look, I am done with this. Look, you've gotten me in enough trouble. I can't do this anymore. I didn't ask you to stand up and defend me. Look, what was I supposed to do? I am done talking to you. If they catch me talking to you, they'll send me to work at Jackson Liberty. You know what? I'm gonna go sit over here. You're acting like you actually have a chance of getting off the hook. You know, I, I don't even care. If you could have anything in your life, what would you want? My brother told me what it was like before he graduated. Honestly? If I could have anything back, I would want my high school back. Then let's take it. for us outside. They're driving to Bamber to go talk to Zach Ramos. You mean we're going to Bamber? Hope you drop off with you. Try to keep up. Wait, what? All personnel, please evacuate to the nearest line and report to your supervisor. Code blue, 305. I see a line of cars and they're all black.
flowers and my love will be never to come back. They're not following us. Really? They really aren't. They were just on our tails. Are we supposed to get picked up by someone? I don't know. We should have been here about five minutes ago. Is this them? I guess. So is this the guy? Get in the vehicle. Don't tell us what to do. Don't tell us what to Come on, get in the car. I'm missing Ghost going wild because of this. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All of Central's Drive chasing us and you haven't even explained where you've been. We could be killed. What do you mean where we've been? We had a two hour massage before this. Obviously. We gotta get ready for this. We gotta be rejuvenated. You know what? Harbor What'd you see, Lieutenant? That's Ramos, all right. He brought some friends. Send in some hawks. Let's brighten their day. Yes, ma'am. Send in the hawks. We were at the killed. They've been chasing us. Oh my gosh. She needed a little yeah, bit of cardio. Get in the car. You questioned us now? Cool, cool, cool. Now we're getting in the car. Now we're getting in the car. Now we're getting in the car. We all ready to go? All right. And they weren't gonna get in the car. They didn't, the they car. didn't want to get in the car. All it took was a missile strike to get them in the car. Boom! One explosion. Minute, one little boom. We were here five minutes earlier. And we're here now. Like we said, we're getting a getting a massage. So I'm guessing your will wraps is done. The coupon ended today. Okay. That's a good point. You the coupon one did day. end. Okay, who are you? I have no idea who you are. Well, okay, dude. You we're signed the resistance. That's you signed. You signed up. For, you signed up for this. God, should have read the brochure, idiot. White. All I'm trying to say is this resistance driving course was. Oh man, this is some good resistance no, driving right here. Yeah. Now we're heading to Bambi and making a left. God, you towns. Oh my god. You towns folk, okay. Nobody likes anybody. Let's, let's put on some tunes. Let's turn this up. I mean, the school is burning behind us, but there's people, there's traffic. Come on, Jesus!